Hey everybody, it's Emmy. I'm back. Um, back again, again with some more candy. Um, I think there's a chance that you can probably find this kind of candy, so that's always exciting when you guys can try these candies too. Um, if you go to a big uh, Japanese market or something, you might be able to find this candy. Um, it's called Morinaga. Morinaga's caramel. These. Morinaga is a is a dairy company, so they make a lot of cheeses and a lot of milk in Japan. So this is um, this is their caramels, and I just love the packaging. It's really charming. So this is the most um, popular flavor, and I think it's like the most traditional flavor. It's just the plain milk caramel. But what's cool about Morinaga is not only the, are the caramels delicious, but they make several different flavors. Let's start with the original. So Morinaga, and this is like all great. Japanese packaging, it tells you where to open. Mm, akekuchi, that means you can open it from right here. So you take this tab and you can pull it. And you can slide them out. Cool, huh? Okay, so just a caramel. Pretty straightforward, right? Nothing too special. I'm gonna take some time to chew and warm up since it's cold. Mmm. I get a lot of comments about my hair and people wanting a tutorial on my hair. Hmm. There's not much to explain. I use like a hair like wax product and I cut my own hair. So I don't know what to say much beyond that. Okay, so how do these taste? They taste delicious. It's just like a caramel that you probably are familiar with. Very chewy, very melty, very sticky. But what I really love about these are they're really rich in that cream buttery flavor. So there's a lot of milk in there. So really good. So do you guys know back in the States those craft caramel squares? The little singles that you would melt to dip like apples in? Those to me are a little bit too sweet. I have like... They have a good caramel flavor, but these are just, they're still sweet, and they still have to taste like caramel, but I like these a little bit better. I think also because these are sized a little bit smaller, they're not so overwhelmingly sticky, so you're not like trying to like separate your teeth because they're glued together with caramel. So, Hachimitsu is honey. So this is a honey caramel. So I haven't had this flavor, so I don't know. What, the only flavor I've ever had is the original, milk. Caramel. So all these other flavors are new. We slide it out, and they look exactly the same in terms of the packaging. They almost look like bouillon cubes. <laughs> in terms of color, it looks about the same. Maybe a little bit darker. I don't know. Again, I have to wait for it to warm up because it's kind of cold. Mmm. It does taste different. Sweet, of course, and very caramel-like in its texture and its consistency, but it's not so milky. But I don't know that I can taste the honey. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit. Maybe really subtly. A sweetness of its own. That's good. I like that. Satsumaimo. Satsumaimo flavor is sweet potato flavor. So that, as, as the picture shows you, Yaki Imo, so um, it's a traditional kind of like wintry kind of fall thing where they roast just a sweet potato and you have it like as a snack and it's really delicious. The Satsumaimo is a um, pretty popular flavor in Japan. You'll find like sweet potato flavored ice cream or um, you'll see it in desserts, sometimes in breads. Um, it's like a filling <clears throat> and it's got a really nice perfume. I don't know how to explain it. It's like the sweet... Not really potatoy, but there's this, um, it's just got a really unique kind of sweetness to it. And same. Smell? Doesn't really smell like much. Definitely has that sweet potato flavor. Which is really hard to describe. So it has kind of a toasted flavor. Toasted. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's almost kind of maple-y. That's what it kind of tastes like. Satsumaimo tastes a little bit like it's kind of a little bit maple-y. 
kind of like maple syrup a little bit. Maybe. And atsuki is, um, it's a kind of red bean. So a lot of you are probably familiar with atsuki beans. Um, they're used a lot in Japanese desserts inside of mochi or daifuku. Um, it's a, a red bean that's not inherently sweet itself. It's usually a, a bean that's cooked and then lots of sugar is added. And um, it's pounded and mashed into a paste called uncle. It's like a bean flavor. Uh, I don't know how to... And it's not unpleasant. And it's very sweet. Ah! This one actually looks different. Cool. Finally. Look. This one's pink. So, let's try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That one definitely tastes different. Wow. Atsuki caramel tastes very strongly of Atsuki. Very sweet. Very sweet, like a, you know, same texture as all the others. Caramelly and chewy. But very strongly of bean. I don't know how else to describe it. It's not unpleasant at all. It has more of a starchy flavor. Kind of a starchy, hmm, not like refried beans or anything like that. Don't think that. Bean, sweet bean flavor. So it tastes just like unko, actually. Um, <clears throat> which you should not confuse with unko. Okay. Unko is sweet bean paste, okay? Unko, A-N-K-O. Unko. Unko, I'll let you look up for yourself. <laughs> this is kohi, kohi karamel. Kohi is coffee as the picture shows you in the bottom. Mm. This one smells like coffee. Mm. A little bit different. It's kind of more of a gray color. It's not as like yellowy and golden as the others. Oh, it definitely smells like coffee. So, let's try it. Mmm. That's really good. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yes. I think Kohi is like the big, big sister or something to this. Because it has a really great milky flavor, but it's got a nice bitterness because of the coffee flavor. So, of course, it's sweetened. So it's like a it's dessert. It's like a sweet coffee, but there's a nice layer of bitterness that goes through it. It's really good. So... I think this one's my favorite. So look for these in your neck of the woods. Maybe you can find them. You might find this one. And pick it up. It's really good. And um, really nice, nicely sized and beautiful packaging. So hope you guys learned something and um, hope you found that interesting. So I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.